Questions and comments? Comments. The Honourable uh, Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and, uh, and I appreciate uh, the speech and certainly listening to much of, of the debate on this bill here today. One of the uh, uh, concerns that, uh, that certainly I have with this bill, and I'd, I'd, I'd ask my, my uh, colleague from the Bloc Québécois, there, are, there seems to be a downloading of, uh, of authority uh, to uh, Ottawa in various aspects of this bill. And certainly we have seen how increased bureaucracy, increased red tape has not actually led to uh, uh, safer circumstances, whether that be in our rail system, whether that be in our ports, whether that be in, in negotiations with labour and whatnot, it hasn't actually increased the efficiency or safety of our ports and railroads. So I'm wondering if this member is, is, uh, shares my concern about whether or not uh, this, this downloading of more authority and more processes in, our, in, in offices in Ottawa is an effective solution to address some of the challenges that this bill purports to address. The Honourable Member for Repentigny. Madam Speaker, I don't understand what downloading of authority the member is referring to. Based on my understanding of the bill and the measures under study, well, I feel that elected officials have the power to force companies. So if the colleague is supporting a broader liberalization or expansion of what companies can do, I'm absolutely against that. Currently, the Canadian government gives general guidance and then businesses self-regulate. That is what the situation is, and that has led to really loose rail safety measures everywhere in Canada. Madam 